better than you. Sharp Game coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, author of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com, baby. So yeah, this is a question that I got. Dude was like, he said he has a pattern of getting with women, getting in a relationship with women, or spending a lot of time with women, and it could be months, weeks, even up to a year. He said this has happened to him quite a few times, like eight, nine, ten times. So he said, what can I give him some insight? Because he wrote me a long Long email. I mean, I couldn't even. <laughs> it, it was like a page, the email. That's how long it was. From, and the his story seems to go back like at least ten, 10 years of him being in and out of a relationship and having some experiences he's been having. But based on what he said in the email. Is, it's really a common thing. A lot of times, if a woman thinks she's better than you, she's probably gonna leave you for another guy. Or she's gonna try to find another guy that's better than you. And see, the mistake that a lot of guys make is they put the woman on the pedestal, you know? And they put her on a pedestal most of the time mainly because of how she looks. Mm, mm, mm. That's it. Mainly on how she looks. That might sound crazy. It's true. See, us guys, for the most part, we go off looks. Now, it's okay to be attracted to a, a woman based on looks, but you have to know that it's more to her than just how she looks. But a lot of guys get, a lot of guys are undisciplined. They don't look deep before they leave. They just look how, they see how she looks and they, they all in. And yeah, that's a mistake. That, you're undisciplined and you know, you're not using your critical thinking skills. You're, you're getting way too emotional. And now you might be thinking, well, why should I even attempt to be this way? Why can't we, why can't we be in a 50-50 relationship? But there's no such thing as a 50-50 relationship. That's something that then started within the, that got started within the mainstream media. I don't even know where it came from. To be honest. You know, but out in the real world, that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. Now, I would say this. If you want a woman to stay around you long term. She has to feel like you're better than her in some ways. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just telling you how it is out here. If she feels like she's better than you, she she's going to leave eventually. Man, you look, you can't even meet a... There's some women that I've met that were older than me felt like they were better than me when we first met initially but after they got to know me they figured out I ain't better than them because they realized that I have certain skill sets I know how to do a lot of different things but once they got to know me and, and found all that out they was like okay he might be younger than me but I ain't better than him <laughs> and check this out there's a lot of resentment that came about with that after they found out and got to know me better. There's a lot some resentment came with that too. It was kind of like 
this is, I'm supposed to be doing better than him because I'm older than him. That's where that comes from. Women think like a lot of women out here think like this. So she has to feel like if you leave, she's gonna lose something. <laughs> I'm serious. You might think, oh, that ain't fair. Look, life ain't fair. It, but that's usually how it go out here, you know. All if you look back, all if you look really look back at all the relationships you've been in, that a woman came in and left, because we've all had relationships like that. Regardless if she stayed around you for a month, three months, six months, or a year. All those women that came in and left, and you didn't really understand why, because she thought she could do better than you. She thought she was better than you. Look, you got some women that come over here from other countries, think they're better than me. They think they know something that I don't know. And I've been here almost all my damn life. And when they get here, they think they got it all figured out. And after they've been here for, say, 5, 10, 20 years, if they make it, by that, this time, they done got used and abused and ran through. If they haven't met someone like me, that's going to get them the game. If they choose to listen. Some of them don't choose to listen because they follow in society's rules. They follow in the status quo. And if you follow the status quo, the status quo says, if you're a foreigner coming over here, and if you see somebody like me, you automatically think you better. <laughs> That's status quo. You automatically supposed to, you know, kind of like poo poo on that person. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if you have some Caucasian guy doing the talking, oh, he automatically knows what he's talking about, even though he might be lying to you. But this is status quo pro, you know? So. If, they, if, if these women come over here thinking like this, what do you think the women that's born and raised here think about this? How do you think they think? They, they all, most of them think the same. The only difference is one of them from someplace else and one of them from here. And the only thing they have in common is what they're doing ain't working. <laughs> It ain't working, <laughs> you know? And see, the mistake a lot of guys make is they base things on looks. And see, a lot of women know that they don't deserve to be put on a pedestal. And see, another thing you have to think about, that's really all most women have is looks. That's their main thing. That's their main card. It's like their calling card. That's most of them. I mean, a lot of women don't really have a lot of skills like that. There's some women, but most of them, most women are the same. You know, now when it comes to us guys, we have a lot of things in our favor. We have the more skills you have, the better off you be. The more assets you have, the better off you be. The more of the right people you know, the movers and shakers, the better off you be. Your life is basically predicated upon the relationships you make, along with your skill sets. Everything, when it comes to being a guy, we don't have to focus on looks. That ain't gonna really work for us like that. Unless you wanna be a model or something like that. But even when it comes to being a model, it's still limited. We have to have like a like a toolbox all kind of if you open the toolbox all kind of tools and wrenches and plies and, and all kinds of things in there that we can work with that's how we have to be you have to live it though you have to be, see when you're out and about meeting these women and spending time with these women you have to be able to demonstrate why she should respect you you have to be able to demonstrate. Not only, sometimes what, what's 
there don't have to be talked about because it's obvious to some women. It's a smart woman. They, they pick up on it, right? But regardless, you have to be able to demonstrate what you about, if need be. Now, sometimes you might get challenged. It doesn't happen, it doesn't happen to me very often. But if someone really wanted to challenge me based on what I'm all about, oh, I got all kind of proof. <laughs> I got people, I mean, I know people all over this country. I know people worldwide. People that could be like, yeah, he's official. Like a referee with a whistle. So if I was a fraud, you would have known by now. Because too many people know me. There's too many people when I was in the military know me. Too many people I went to college with know me. Everywhere I go, I meet people. So if I was a fraud, you would have known already. And I got, I got pictures, I got, I got receipts, I got everything to back up mine. And I, I don't even brag. But if I wanted to brag, I could easily do it and back it up. So this is how you have to be. This is how you should be. Now you ain't gonna. If you're 21 years old, 20 years old, you ain't gonna be like this out of the gate. But you wanna build up to that. You have to be able to demonstrate that. You have to damn near make women respect you. They might not wanna be around you, but they'll respect you. They'll be like, hey, yeah, he's, yeah, he's the truth. You know? Now, is a lot of this fear? No. But that's how it is, man. You know? Now, is every woman going to want to be around you? Regardless? No. Everybody's not for everybody. You know? But that doesn't mean she's better than you. Just because she got more education than you, that doesn't mean she's better than you. No. Just because she make more money than you, that doesn't mean she's better than you. Her job can be taken away overnight. What you have up here can't be taken away. No. So if you got, that's why they say you got. The, I got the skills to pay the bills. That means what you got up here, that's with you forever. You know, it, it's kind of like if I meet a 28 year old, she kind of assumes that I know more. Than which I do, because I'm a little long. Right? That's a, that doesn't have to, that's almost a given. You know, that's, that don't have, we don't have to talk about that. You know? Not at all. But you have some people that feel like they're better than you based on their nationality, their culture, their religion. Which, necessary, which most cases ain't true. But let them believe that. Who cares? You're not here to convince people of anything. You're looking for cooperation. That's what you're looking for. You know, that's, you're not looking for to be liked. You're not looking for love. If love was the answer, this country wouldn't be the, in, the, in the position that, that it's in today. You're not looking for love. You're looking for cooperation. Now, if you meet a woman and she don't want to cooperate, she don't trust your leadership, well, you need to move on. Tell her kick rocks. If she's looking for a 50-50 man or, or she get into that, that toxic masculinity and all that, keep it moving, man. You're not trying to convince no woman do anything or believe in it, believe in something. And let people keep it moving, man. You know, it, 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 it takes too much time for that. But at the end of the day, you're the prize. You're the prize. Women are not getting dressed And that, and those high heels, and that, those 
with makeup on and with her hair and nails done. Strategically going after guys. If she knows she's a prize. And then, then she's competing against other women. And she knows this. So if you were the prize, you wouldn't have to chase after these guys. They know this. If you were a prize, you wouldn't have to go out, leave your house, really. The guys would find you. <laughs> and this happens in other countries. At Earth, that's why there's arranged marriages. Some guys, the woman is 20, 21, she's married because she's the prize. She didn't have to leave her house. Everything was all set up. You know? It's logically speaking. So if you have to put on your nice red dress with red heels and get your hair done in nails, and then you're gonna get with the guy, and then you're gonna act like you're better than him, and all you have is looks and no skills and a job. What we doing? What we what we doing? Man? People can feel what they want to feel, but can they demonstrate that? Mm. I found over the years that most people, when shit hits the fan, they can't demonstrate very much of anything. They don't deliver. It's all just talk. It's all talk. But when it's time to show and prove, is you can hear a pin drop. I always say, my life, my game, my show. And I wrote about that in my book, Love Can't Wait. Go get yourself a copy. It'll change your life. You never see relationships and women the same ever again. Read it five to ten. I, I'll challenge you. Read my book, Love Can't Wait, five to ten times. You never see relationships ever the same again. You have more women than you know what to do with. You have to turn some of them down because you just won't have time. I challenge you. Go on Amazon and buy it. Love Can't Wait. I challenge you. You never see relationships ever the same. I, I've had guys tell me this. After they read it five to ten times. <laughs> I challenge you. Go get it. And P.S. And by the way, follow, follow my podcast, Love Can't Wait, as well, on iTunes. Leave a review. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about my podcast. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.